So I got this uh, confetti launcher and after playing around with it a little bit I've discovered that a golf ball fits almost perfectly in here. So I'm going to make this video about seeing how powerful these are. I've got two of them and with the first one I'll shoot a golf ball out of it and with the second one I'll try to mimic a shotgun. I'll put a bunch of small rocks in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put the golf ball in here and then I'm going to uh, ram this paper in here and this will just be to hold the golf ball in place so it won't roll out. sort of like a muzzle loader cannon and there we go so over here I got this uh, PC tower side panel it's pretty thin metal I just want to see how much damage it does and then I got a gallon of water in case it gets through the, the side panel so to shoot these you just uh, twist it like this as a quick release valve that releases all the uh, all the air that's stored in this tank so I'm going to put my glasses on and try to aim for the center That was a lot louder than I expected. Alright, so I found the golf ball. There's no damage done to it. And on this thing, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little, the impression of little dimples in there. Like from the golf ball and made a decent sized dent. It didn't really do any damage to the gallon of water except it bulged out a little bit. And that's about it. So I took the air tank off the used launcher, and this thing is the the valve. Whenever you shoot it, it twists, or you twist it, and then it flies off, and this thing comes out from the air pressure, and all the air comes out at once. So for the second launcher, I didn't take it apart yet, so I could show you what it looks like whenever you take it apart. So first you take this cellophane off the top. And then whenever you dump it out, there we go, this uh, cardboard disc was in the way. Whenever you dump it out, there's a bunch of confetti. And then there's a bag of chalk for the kind of filler colors whenever it's flying through the air. And after that there's nothing else in here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some paper in here as a wad. So all the air pressure from the tank will be evenly distributed between all of the rocks I'm putting in here. And then I got this handful of rocks that I picked up off the ground and I'm just going to fill this thing up with it. And I'm going to put a, another piece of paper on top so the rocks won't fall out. And there we go, it's loaded. So this time I'm going to be shooting at two gallons of water in a row. And it's only from about a yard away because I don't want to risk missing. 
because I only have one of these left. So let's see how it goes. And as you can see, uh, it kind of blew up. Yeah, the rocks got stuck in the barrel. So I was kind of thinking that would happen, but I decided to give it a try anyways. So this thing, uh, it's ripped a little bit, and this thing came off and all the pressure got released. And not a single rock hit the water, so I'll save that for something else. So if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more stuff similar to this and all that kind of stuff and I'll see you next time.